Good morning. It is time for a Friday high five. How, where has this week gone? It has really gone fast. You know, I've, 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 I've been talking for the last couple of days that we've started the, the three week season of the Dire Straits. Dire Straits go from <clears throat> the 17th of Tammuz with the incident of the Golden Calf and it, and it ends on Av 9, which is called Tisha B'Av. And that is the incident of the uh, 12 spies, where the 10 spies said, we can't do it, the giants are bigger than God. And uh, so those two incidents in the wilderness uh, caused them to, um, to be in the wilderness for, for 40 years. But it also set a cycle of bad things to happen in, in Israel. Well, Bob Jones, uh, I told you yesterday, I'm gonna talk about Bob Jones' vision. And Bob Jones and Paul Keith Davis uh, wrote a book on it. Uh, I got um, 11 pages, I think it's nine pages uh, of the, and if you can see it, Did You Learn to Love is Bob Jones' website. And if you just uh, search for Bob Jones Basilisk, B-A-S-I-L-I-S-K, you'll be able to find it. And um, he, in, in July 23rd, 1996, and again on July 23rd, 1997, exactly one year later, Bob Jones was given visions, two visions, uh, from the Lord displaying a powerful demonic spirit. Um, he was desiring that we understand and oppose. It is clear in the visions that the spirit did not expect to be uncovered nor revealed. This evil spirit is accustomed to operating in secret without being detected or obstructed. The great enemy of the cross has authority to release extent, extensive destruction and misery on the earth, especially if unopposed by the praying church. The evil spirit is identified as basilisk. Well, when he had the vision in 1997, he said this spirit was multiplied hundreds of times larger than the previous year. Um, this demonstrates a progressive increase of authority is presently given to the spirit. And he said, apparently during certain, certain cyclical seasons, it's tremendous increase in power is given to the spirit to cause death and destruction. Additionally, in 1997, the spirit shown brooding over a nest of eggs, desiring to periodically birth wrath and misery on the earth. Now, this has amazing, amazing things that Bob Jones wrote about, about this season, this three-week season that we're in of the Basilisk, and I believe that we're in it again. Um, there's uh, different scriptures where the Basilisk is, and one of them is in Psalms 91.13. This is another reason, I know we're, we're speaking Psalms 91 every day because no plague shall come near our dwelling. But since this is the season of the basilisk, the uh, three-week season of the dire straits, uh, I'm going to read to you about basilisk in scripture. The word basilisk is derived from basiliskos, meaning kinglet or king, signifying a mythical reptile hatched by a certain from a cock's eggs. In scripture, basilisk is sometimes translated cockatrice or adder. Um, so we find that in Psalms 91. 13, thou shalt walk upon the asp and the basilisk, and thou shalt trample underfoot the lion and the dragon. Now, you say that every time. You don't realize you're talking about the basilisk. In my Bible, I've crossed it off, and I've written basilisk again. And in Proverbs, it says, but in the end, it will bite like a snake, will spread abroad poison like a basilisk. That's in Proverbs 23, 32. And I want to read to you another thing that Bob Jones read. And I have to move my thing here to get it. He, he, in 2013, he had a vision of swords. And I know I've shared this before because it's about the blood of Jesus. But he said, recently, I saw there were two plagues coming to the global nations against the United States. One plague was influenza like the, and the other like an influenza in nature. Remember, it's severe Ill, illness like influenza represented by a scorpion. A scorpion, um, they, it made, it, scorpion means major illness is trying to fall on you. Um, 
Thus, a serpent has been killing through influenza like the scorpion-like influenza result or severe illness, but that could kill you. By applying the blood of Jesus, we take authority over these plagues and cause them to die. Now, Bob Jones is, is a proven prophet. You know, there's a lot of people that prophesy, and, and you know, really we call them prophet lie because they have a lying spirit. It's just they, they want to be known. But Bob Jones is a proven prophet. He's like a father to many of these young prophets. And uh, so I just encourage you to go on to... Uh, to search for Bob Jones and just print out, I, I, that's what I do is I print it out because I like to underline, highlight, circle, make notes. Um, search for Bob Jones and then Basilisk, B-A-S-I-L-I-S-K. And, and he'll talk about this three-week season that we're in right now. Amen. Believe the prophets. Remember, Second uh, Chronicles twenty twenty. We're in the year twenty twenty. Believe the prophets, and you will prosper. Amen. God bless. Bye bye.